Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and in this video I want to show you how to have a similar look from document to document, from Excel to Outlook to Word to PowerPoint. This will really simplify uh, giving your documents a professional look as you go across the various software packages. So let's get started here with Word. And in Word what I have here is a document that, um, that I've just put some basic text in and the font is automatically Calibri size 11 and that's for the body text if I do a heading, you'll see it's in Cambria. So there's two fonts built in here. And those two fonts are built into this theme. And the theme I'm using is the Office theme. That's the default one. So that's part of this theme. When I go over to the Office, uh, over to my PowerPoint presentation, this is also the Office theme. And you'll no notice that the colors here, the bars, are blues and reds. The font as well is still Calibri. But the colors are blue and red. When I'm in Word and I choose to change the color, Here's the blue and here's the red. Here's the color palette that's been attached to this theme. If I go over to Excel, it's all the same deal. Again, blue and red. And if I go to my home ribbon and choose colors, I can see it's the same color spectrum. So that gives me that continuity from page to page to page. Well, what often happens is people who don't understand how to use themes and styles correctly, what they'll end up doing is they want to turn the word fruit sales here into a title. So they'll select the text and then they want to bold it and then they increase the font size a bit and maybe they want to change the font type to something else so they make it Aharoni or one of the other ones and that's it. And that's fine for this one document that I'm going to send off but the problem with it is that now I've got to remember what font did I choose, what size did I make that, this is a size 18, my body text is a size 11 and here's a subheading so I've got to be somewhere between 18 and 11 and which font do I want to choose and there's just a lot to think about so let's undo those changes we've made so far and we're going to apply styles so by default all of this is in the normal style but if I go in my home ribbon over to the style section you'll see something called heading 1 and now you'll see the fruit sales looks different if I click the drop down here there's heading 2 there's a title and there's other ones so fruit sales happens to be, be my title so I'll put that one there and now I click on my apples and I'll make my apples let's make that one be heading 1 so I'll be heading 1 and I want to do the same thing for bananas so let's make that heading 1 and just to simplify repeating I'm gonna click anywhere in here and double click my format paintbrush to pick my cherries and my dates and then put my paintbrush away so now I've got my document all set up with my heading ones, my normal font, and my title. And you'll notice it's all in a shade of blue, and this blue shade matches the color palette again for the, the uh, graphs and such. But maybe you want to make a change here. Let's go over to the uh, PowerPoint, and I find this is the best place to look at it. Under PowerPoint, on the Design tab, there's Themes, and this is where people stumble across this stuff. And they'll look at it and say, well, the white's kind of boring. What color should we make it? Well, here's a simple one. Let's go with this gray thing. And they go with that and they, because they like the nice background. And in picking this, this color spectrum, which happens to be the apex theme, now you'll notice that the red and blue graphs are now these other two colors. And if I go to my home ribbon and I click on my text and go to change the font color, that red, yellow, green, blue has gone away. And now I have this theme the color spectrum has changed so it's not just a font type what was Calibri is now Lucida Saint so the font changes the font color spectrum changes and it goes across everything so that's with this that's for the apex theme if I go back to design and choose the angles theme here now again I get a look but I also get colors and, and these colors tend to pop out a bit more and the nice thing about this is that it all lets your colors jump out the off screen the way you want them to. What I see a lot of people doing with PowerPoint presentations is they'll say, okay, what's a color I like? Oh, I like the blue one. So they'll click on the blue one and go there, but then the corporate colors happen to be green or something. So they'll put green color for the font to make it look that way. And it just doesn't go anymore. So don't just choose one because you like the color of the background. Choose the font package and use that font package. And as a result, or not font package, rather the entire theme package. And as a result of doing this, now when you pick one, you're not just picking the color background, you're picking the font style and the swatch selections. Now I've got, if I pick opulent here, I get a whole bunch of purples and such. So you get the entire package every time you pick a new color scheme. 
So I kind of like that one there. That's the newsprint style, which is new for 2010, I believe. And I go to the home ribbon, and just out of curiosity, I can see its impact for my headings, and then Times New Roman for my body. So kinda, that's not bad. So that's my news. Uh, that was the newsprint theme. Well, now I go to my Word document, and I change my theme under Page Layout to Newsprint. So I go to Themes, and down and find Newsprint, and there it is alphabetically. Got it? And now this is how it looks. So my fruit sales title is, that's how the title looks. And then the, um, the heading ones, this is how they look. Now I bolded them earlier. Uh, if I don't want them bolded, I can just do that and unbold it. And now it's something a little bit more readable. But now I've got my stuff starting to match and looking a bit better. And it's not that difficult to do anymore because it's just, it all just flows. If I don't like that style, let's go to, back to PowerPoint and we'll change it to a third design. Let's go with one of the green ones like this. So that is the Austin style. And I get this green color spectrum. I go into Word and I change my page layout theme to Austin. Which is up here somewhere. There it is. And nice, clean looking document. I go over to Excel. I go to Page Layout. I change the theme to Austin. And now it all matches. The font choice matches the fonts here perfectly. It matches the PowerPoint presentation. So my handouts match everything perfectly. Now, when I want to go email it to you, I go under the Options tab of my email. And I go to Themes and I choose Austin. And now everything matches from the email to the attachments of the Word documents, the Excel sheets, and the PowerPoint presentations. It all just goes together, perfectly clean, nice and easy. So that's how to get synergy amongst your different, the different programs. I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Glenn Monroe. Stay pumped. We'll see you next time.